With typical personal photo collections numbering in the tens of thousands, finding a particular photo you have in mind is like finding a needle in a haystack. Most photo organizing tools have only rudimentary search capabilities, based largely on manual tagging. Our goal is to allow you to search your personal photos just like you search the web. You type in a query and will retrieve the best set of matches without any labeling required. The system is tailored to your photo collection and doesn't restrict you to a fixed set of query terms. We support searching by any combination of times, places, activities, scenes, objects, and events by correlating information in your photos to information on the internet. We use a variety of data sources and techniques ranging from computer vision to natural language processing. Let's see how our system works by starting with an easy case, temporal search. Using the timestamp stored in each photo, we can show results for specific dates and common holidays, like Halloween. We group results into sets of photos taken around the same time, in this case showing Halloween photos from different years. Dates only get you so far though. If you want your Halloween photos from your trip to LA, you can type in Halloween in Los Angeles to find them. In fact, you can type in the name of almost any place and get the photos taken there. This includes cities and countries of course, like New York, but also attractions, like SeaWorld. Surprisingly, you can even search for specific buildings or businesses, like when you took your daughter to the FAO Schwartz toy store. We handle all of these searches by cross-referencing the GPS information stored in your photos with Wikimapia, a large online database of place names and locations. Each place is defined by its boundary and contains various metadata, including title, description, and categorical information about what kind of place it is. So you can search for photos of your skiing trip without remembering where or when you went, or from when you went paintballing with your friends, or watching Formula One racing in England. How would you find photos of the Radiohead concert you went to? Well, the photo itself can tell us through its stored metadata. The timestamp tells us the date of the show, and the GPS coordinates tell us the venue. Searching on Google for Palais Omnisports, Paris, June 10th, 2008, returns lots of results with the term Radiohead in them. During initial indexing of your photos, our system issues these kinds of queries automatically. It parses the results and stores the most frequent terms, letting you find these photos by simply typing in Radiohead. In fact, this works for all sorts of events, from Conan O'Brien's comedy tour, to the Patriots vs. Steelers football game, or the Burning Man festival. Now suppose I want to find my friend's wedding in Israel. Searching for Israel returns too many photos, and even narrowing to the year doesn't help much. Wouldn't it be great to be able to search for wedding in Israel directly, like this? Our system allows you to do this by training a visual classifier for weddings, and this works quite well, because wedding photos tend to be visually distinctive. Lots of formal dresses, flowers, veils, and of course the bride in white. And because we automatically group photos into sets, the classifier needs to fire on only a few of these photos to find the rest of them. But weddings are just the tip of the iceberg, of course. What about those whales you saw last year, or the air show? For some of these, we used ImageNet, a large database of images organized into a hierarchy to pre-train visual classifiers. But we can handle much more general queries by using Google Image Search. We issue user queries on Google and download their top results in real time. We then extract features, train a visual classifier, run it on your photos, and return the top matches. As you just saw, the entire process takes less time than this explanation did. Google Images also lets us find specific instances of things, such as paintings, by matching SIF features on the fly. Finally, our system even helps you come up with search terms by showing you autocomplete suggestions as you type. Obviously, not every possible query will work. This image of Petco Park, for example, has a stored GPS location here, 60 miles away from the actual field. Finally, our visual classifiers will not always work, either due to bad training images or because object recognition is still a very tough problem. But what makes our system so powerful is that there are lots of ways to get to any particular photo you have in mind. By combining whatever information you remember, you can almost always find it. Thanks for watching.